the world comes close to the brink in the film Contagion. On this episode of Did They Get It Right? What happens when millions around the world come down with a virus that's highly contagious? How will health officials cope? Will mass hysteria take over? These are some of the issues tackled in Steven Soderbergh's 2011 offering, Contagion. The film's premise is quite simple. A highly contagious and deadly virus spreads throughout the global village, and then the film dramatizes how different populations deal with the pandemic. After watching the movie, though, the question looms. How close are we to this scenario being the real thing? So there are quite often situations where we do get close to a scenario like that. And, and in fact, we just had two scenarios like that in the past decade, SARS and H1N1. And we're constantly concerned about H5N1, which is the bird flu, which is pretty lethal in humans, but luckily hasn't yet found a way how to jump from one human to the next. But as soon as that happens, you know, we have a big problem with our hands. I think the real heroes in a story like that are, are the medical people on the ground and the public health workers. And actually, you know, they put themselves in harm's way. And we saw that with SARS when, you know, the first people on the ground investigating SARS, which it wasn't known back then that it was SARS. Um, yeah, a lot of them actually ended up dying, unfortunately. How does the government plan for such an event? Or can they? And with social media becoming a bigger part of our daily landscape, what part will it play in a pandemic? To some extent, of course, the government is ready. Um, to some extent, there will be issues that you just can't plan for. You just don't know how people are, how people are gonna react, essentially. You only can plan so much, right, for, for something you can't really predict. Um, that's another reason, for example, why I think, you know, looking at social media is just going to be so important because then at least you're not surprised. You can actually, you know, look at what people are thinking, what they're, how they're behaving, um, what they think the government is doing right, what they think the government is doing wrong. I think the Jude Law character was credible, but it wasn't representative, I would say. Um, I mean, there, you know, certainly a lot of people out there that have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to these things, but still do a lot of the talking. And so, you know, that could be a concern if these people have a lot of followers. But overall, I think, you know, it's just us out there, right, using social media, all of us. And I think as a society, we will probably make better decisions than just follow, you know, one crazy guy. I did like the accuracy of the movie. It is a Hollywood movie after all, but from a scientific perspective, it was, as accurate as they come. The one thing that I didn't like is it made bloggers appear like complete nuts, you know, all of the bloggers, and that's totally not true. From a purely scientific, biological, and I think even societal perspective, they, they got it totally right.